Some people want to buy a car. Some people dream of being homeowners. Some want to travel the world. Others want to buy new clothes every month. And some people just want to buy, buy, buy. We used to focus on satisfying our needs. That was the norm. But we live in a culture that's transformed everything into excess. An excess that doesn't seem very natural. My next guest is a 33-year-old man who spent over $100,000 on cosmetic procedures to look like Justin Bieber. But how did this happen? For industrialization to succeed, it had to not only produce an abundance of goods, but also an abundance of demand. Since then, people were encouraged to buy more than necessary. With growing competition between industries, there was a boom in the fields of advertising and marketing. The more you tell, the more you sell. At the same time, the credit industry was born, and the buy now, pay later mentality made people live in constant debt. Another day older and deeper in debt. St. Peter, don't you call me cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. Can't buy me love. Mid-century pop culture took every opportunity to show how hard work could lead to a comfortable lifestyle. To be a winner, you had to have a suburban house, white picket fence, 2.5 children, fully stocked refrigerator, and, of course, a car. The advertising industry realized the growing individualization of people's lifestyles and targeted specific desires by focusing their attention on niche markets and mentalities. In the 90s, a new wave of environmental consciousness sparked awareness about the risks of overconsumption. But it seemed like no one really listened. New manufacturing techniques and cheap labor boosted production volume even further, turning everything into disposable stuff. Digital technology was evolving faster than ever, and having the newest stuff became a marker of status and success. Consumption became consumerism. Mass media began talking about the negative symptoms of excessive shopping. We suddenly lived in a reality where consumerism left people in a permanent state of anxiety. Nice Jack. The consumer cycle is a feedback loop where both the industry and the consumer have their own share of responsibility. And it's not shopping green that will make it okay. 
In the past three decades alone, a third of the Earth's resources were consumed. This is a process of self-destruction. Literally. The world is desperate for alternatives. A new consumer mentality, the sharing economy, prioritizes access over ownership. You no longer have to buy something in order to enjoy it. And while the sharing economy seems like a path forward, it doesn't actually reduce our desire to consume. It simply reduces ownership. Every ad carries the message, buy this and be happier. But those messages are an illusion. Isn't it time to wake up already? Every change needs to start somewhere. But in this case, the change has to happen within your conscience. From now on, before giving in to just any consumer impulse, try to break the logic that's been implanted in your mind. Do you really need this? And can you pay for it? Aren't you just wanting to belong or affirm your personality? Do you know the origin of this product and where it goes after you dispose of it? Aren't you being deluded by advertising and branding? But most importantly, do you think this purchase harms the planet? And how many of these purchases do you think the planet can really support? Low sumerism, it's being more conscious and consuming less. It is three simple attitudes that, together, can trigger huge impact. It is always thinking before you buy. It's finding alternatives with lesser impact on natural resources, such as trading, fixing, and making. It's living only with what's really necessary. Low sumerism is a movement that has to be put into practice now. Because the world can't wait anymore. After all, Earth is our home, not a giant shopping center. Consumerism is an outdated mentality that we will soon be ashamed of. By becoming low sumers, we have a chance to change the future. And that change needs you. <laughs>